Tip number one, take care of your basic requirements first. What you're eating and drinking is crucial to your mental wellness. Drink plenty of water, don't consume too much caffeine, and watch your alcohol intake. Make sure you're also getting enough sleep. Before attempting to take on some of the complexities of everyday life, it is important that we begin full of energy. Feelings of fatigue can lead us to drink more coffee or energy drinks. This can end up exacerbating the problem as excess levels of caffeine can cause anxiety in some people. Fatigue can make even the smallest of troubles seem more severe. Try to ensure you're getting enough sleep and you're enjoying a nutritious diet. Tip number two, get plenty of sunshine. One of the main sources of vitamin D is sunshine. It's crucial for our bodies and minds that we have good levels of vitamin D. It's important for the brain's production of enzymes that have a protective effect on our brain's neurons. It's also been shown to play an important role in the body's production of the feel-good hormone dopamine. You should try to get some sunlight each day if possible. Just be careful not to overdo it and burn your skin. A little and often is a good way to go. 30 minutes to 2 hours a day of sunshine is preferable. In winter, it's possible to be more prone to depression due to it being more difficult to get enough vitamin D from sunshine. Seasonal Affective Disorder, also known as SAD or SAD, is the term used to describe this effect. It's recommended to use a daylight therapy light to minimize these symptoms and to take vitamin D supplements if advised to do so by your doctor. Tip number three, avoid sources of stress. It can be difficult to avoid stress completely, so it's important to know what causes your anxiety and learn how to deal with it. Lowering your stress levels is vital in keeping excellent mental health and wellness. Attempt to handle your worries and stress by using a checklist or a journal to assist you in working on each issue. Journaling your stresses and worries can help you to break them down. You can understand that they are not so unmanageable. Attempt to avoid hiding your head in the sand by tackling your issues head on. You may be having issues at night ruminating about the stress in your life. This can easily cause you problems getting to sleep or staying asleep at night. In this circumstance, it may help to jot down those worries on a pad next to your bed. It should help you to feel some reassurance that it can wait until morning for them to be addressed. Tip number four, be mindful of your breathing. It's important that we are aware of what our mind and body are telling us. Attempt to identify when you're feeling mental and physical stress. Do you feel stress or tension developing? Is your back sore? Are you frustrated? Listen to these signals. Attempt to implement a plan to prevent these stressful situations getting worse. If you're experiencing these feelings, take some deep breaths. Make sure you breathe in slowly. And on the exhale, concentrate on releasing all your negative feelings. This is one of the most helpful immediate ways to release yourself from the stress cycle. Tip number five, happiness doesn't require money. A person's joy is not associated with their economic wealth. It's a popular belief that money is all you need to enjoy your life. Whilst most people would love to be affluent, it's important to remember happiness can be accomplished without it too. Concentrate on the little things you enjoy in life that don't require much expense. Tip number six, remember to laugh. Laughing, even if it's forced laughing, is known to help promote a favorable state of mind. Laughing has actually been revealed to have a positive impact on our ability to cope with stress. Even the memory of the laughs you've shared in your life can be enough to help boost your mood and help you remember the value of the relationships you have forged. So make sure you remember to try to laugh every day and remember the times in the past you've shared laughs with others. Tip number seven, find things to be thankful for. Remember to be grateful for what you have in life and take time to thank other people, even if it was someone who was just doing their job. It can be surprising the mood-boosting effect this can have. However, it's important to remember you shouldn't disregard or ignore your problems. It's about recognizing the beauty in life. Tip number eight, improve your fitness. 
Working out is great for your mental health. A workout routine can boost your energy levels and enhance your mood. It can also help reduce tension, anxiousness, and also depression. Exercise can be great fun once you get in the swing of it. It's important to tailor your exercise to your level of capability. Always check with a doctor before you start a new fitness regime, particularly if you haven't exercised for a while. Tip number 9. Explore your creativity. Whether it's painting, drawing, photography, or pottery, find a creative activity that you can focus your attention on. It's beneficial to keep our hands and minds busy with a task we enjoy. You may have heard of people being in the zone. This describes the zen-like state our minds can enter when we discover an engrossing activity. It helps us by distracting our minds from negative thoughts and feelings. A creative task can also boost our self-worth when you reach the completion of a creative project. Tip number 10. Remember to have fun. No matter how stressful life can be, you must remember the importance of taking time out to have some fun. Fun is essential in life and should not be seen as an indulgence. Whether it's listening to some music in the bathtub or going for a meal with friends, having fun can obviously have a beneficial effect on your mood. Having fun can release stress-relieving endorphins, which will improve your sense of well-being. Fun that requires engaging your brain like playing a board game with friends or playing a team sport can also help stimulate your mind and boost your brain function. Having fun as an adult is just as important as it is for children. It can boost your vitality, energy, and help you function at your best. Tip number 11. Establish some attainable goals. It doesn't matter how far along the road you are on your journey to good mental health. Working towards goals can be an important tool in helping you manage your mental health. It's advised to start small with little daily goals. It could be something as minor as making your bed in the morning or swapping that takeaway for a meal you cook from scratch. It's important to write down your goals and keep track of progress of working towards them. It can help to ask yourself, what is one goal today that I could achieve which will bring me closer to my long-term goals? Short-term goals should be seen as stepping stones to your long-term objectives in life. When setting goals, it's important to ask yourself the following questions. What's important to me? What are my hopes and dreams for the future? What would I like to do more often? What is happiness for me? What factors in my life would I like to enhance? Remember to keep your goals specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and set a time limit for achieving them. Tip number 12. Don't get too hung up about your appearance. Obsessing about dieting or losing weight can actually cause us to gain weight and have poor health overall. We are often bombarded daily with lose weight fast claims from ridiculously complex diet plans. Obsessing over different diets and losing weight has not caused our population to get healthier and lighter. In fact, it's had the opposite effect. Often when someone starts a new miracle diet, they can get an initial boost when they see some early results. But when the weight comes back, they blame themselves for not sticking to the wonder diet. It's more important to think of long-term strategies you can implement that you can work into your everyday life which will boost your mind and body. For example, finding a passion for cooking meals from scratch. Home-cooked food is usually lower in calories, fat, sugar, and salt than takeaway food. Find things you enjoy that naturally burn calories. For example, maybe you enjoy cycling, you could take your bike to work rather than catching the bus. By not obsessing about dieting and weight loss and instead focusing on the things we find beneficial for our long-term physical and mental health, we can avoid the destructive cycle of fad diets. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of how to boost mental wellness and much more. Check out this playlist of our top 10 videos of psychological tips and I'll see you in the next video. Take care!